Welcome to the official Windows 8.1 channel and this is another video in my series of 8.1 for dummies where we're revisiting the basics of Windows 8. First video was about Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, how to know which version you have and how to upgrade if you don't have Windows 8.1. It is important because a lot of the features and the the videos that I'm making now are all dependent on the fact that you have Windows 8.1. And if you look at the video and you don't find an option or you don't see anything that I'm showing you, it's probably because you're in an old version of Windows 8. Windows 8.1 is free, so you should get it if you don't know how. First video for dummies that I made was about Windows 8, 8.1 and how to get it if you're not there yet. Once you um, have Windows 8.1 on your machine, what is a little difficult for most people to understand is the fact that Windows 8 is a dual type operating system. And what I mean by that is that you have kind of this new look start screen. And you also have that desktop that is there and that is used like a regular desktop with icons. Uh, here, if I show you the icons on my screen, here you go, these are the icons I have. And so all of that is showing here. And this is like the desktop, the regular desktop. So people are a little mixed up because they say, well, you know, it looks like a new operating system on an old operating system. A lot of people say, well, it's just a tile uh, system that is on top of Windows 7. That's not at all the case. This is a brand new operating system. The drivers, the way Windows 8 works is a brand new way of working. But it does have a lot of similarities with Windows 7 when you're on the desktop mode. But when you're in Windows 8, it is really truly a brand new operating system. And by the way, the desktop that you see is not a real desktop like in Windows 7. It's an app that actually works as a desktop. So um, lots of differences. When you get to this screen, uh, first of all, you should find your desktop tile. It should be on your start screen somewhere. But it is sometimes difficult to understand which tile is actually your desktop tile. If you can't find it here, you can go into your charms bar on the right side of the screen. And to go there, well, you've got what we call hot corners. So if you go with your pointer, mouse pointer on the upper right or lower right side of the screen, you will see that there's this little bar popping up and you can go on it and there's start, search, share, devices, settings. So this is what is called the charms bar. It is very useful and it works everywhere. For example, if I'm on my desktop and I go into my hot corners, well, it's there. It is always there on your machine. So all you have to do, if you have a touch device, then you can swipe on your screen from the right side to the left on the uh, edge of your screen. You should have your charms bar show up. If you have a regular uh, mouse or a mouse pad, a laptop or desktop, no touch screen, then with the mouse pointer, you'll go into the corner and you'll have the charms bar. So you can go on the upper right side, the lower right side, it still works as long as you're into what we call the hot corners on the right side of your screen. Now we were searching for the desktop tile because you want to go to the desktop. How to do that? Well, two ways. If you can, of course, type desktop and you'll see that desktop is available and that will bring you to the desktop. But in Windows 8.1, one of the nice little features they've added is that on the lower left of your screen, in the corner, you have a little start button. If you click there, it alternates between the desktop and the start screen. So whatever you want to do, it's always there. You can go from one screen to the other. Desktop is probably what you'll use most. It uh, depends on users. I've uh, seen a lot of my uh, clients that have Windows 8. And, uh, well, most of them actually prefer to use a desktop and be on the desktop all of the time. 
but I have a few users that say, well, you know, I'm in Windows 8 and I want to learn that new start screen. I want to learn how to use Windows 8 with the tiles. So this is dependent on everyone. Some people like experimenting and seeing new stuff, but a lot of the users out there will actually prefer being on the desktop. And the desktop does work exactly like a regular desktop that you'll have in Windows 7 or Windows XP. It has the same properties. If you right click on the screen, you have the same kind of menus. Um, so it's really an interesting way of uh, getting back to what looks like an old operating system, but it does have the new field uh, of tiles and apps if you uh, want to go through this. You also have odd corners on the left. If you go on the odd corners on the upper left side, you'll see that there's this little bar of running apps. So every app that you clicked on is on that bar on the left and it shows you that these apps are running. So you can, of course, if you want, right click and say, well, okay, I want to close. You can right click on it. If you have Windows 8.1 and are updated to the latest updates, uh, another thing that is new about uh, this is the fact that when you are in an app, we now have the possibility to close the windows with that little X on the upper right side. That is a feature that appeared in the latest Windows 8.1 update one that happened in April 2014. If you don't see this, it is possible you're not yet into the update one. So what I do, uh, I would suggest that you go into your search and the charms bar and type Windows update and go into check for updates and make sure that you've got all of the updates installed on your computer. If they're not all there, it's going to tell you, well, we have new updates. So click to download and install the updates uh, and, you know, apply everything that you find here. Normally, a non-touch device that is to the latest updates will have that power button and that search on the screen on the upper right side. Now, be careful. If you don't see this, it doesn't mean you don't have the latest update. If you have a touch device, a lot of touch devices don't have the search and the power button on the screen. For example, if you own a Windows 8 tablet, that feature is not there on Windows 8 touch devices that are tablet-like, uh, some Ultrabooks. Uh, Windows 8.1 Update 1 does not bring these features visible to the start screen. So um, don't worry if you don't see that. It does not mean necessarily that you're not at the latest update. And if you check Windows Update and it tells you everything is up to date, chances are they're already up to date. Of course, Windows 8 is a tile system. So on the screen, what you see are tiles, tiles that are apps, a little bit like an iPhone and a little bit like a, uh, you know, an iPad or an Android um, tablet. Uh, Windows 8.1 or Windows 8 brings us into a world of apps. And so these apps are kind of like programs that we have before, but instead of installing like old programs into program files, the uh, tiles are actually um, there through the Microsoft Store, which is that green tile with a shopping bag that can be on it. And these, this store is where you get these apps and you can install. So, um, and we'll talk about that a little later on. So, um, a lot of the laptops and tablets have gestures. So, for example, on your screen, um, if you have a laptop, for example, like this is a non-touch device that I have here, which is a Toshiba. If I apply two fingers on my pad at the same time and go from left to right, you see that it moves the start screen. Uh, you can also go at the bottom and you see that the start screen has a bar that you can actually go through to the left and right. And that's something new. And if you come from the world of Windows 7, Vista or XP, one of the probably the weirdest things that you'll uh, find is the fact that now you can scroll left and right which is not natural for a Windows 8 user. Yes, we do scroll up and down when we are in 
um, for example, the web browser, because we want to scroll down a page, or you're in a word, or you're in a, reading a text, often we scroll up and down. That is kind of natural in, in, in most Windows versions for pretty much everyone. But scrolling left and right is a little awkward, and um, it's easier if you have a touch device. I must admit that this was really uh, made for a touch operating uh, machine. Unfortunately, a lot of people are buying non-touch devices. So it's important to be updated to the latest versions because it does add up to um, easier functionalities in Windows 8 with a non-touch device if you're in the latest versions of Windows 8. So go through these tiles, check what they are. Uh, tiles typically have full screen looks. So if you click a tile, like I click Netflix here, um, well, the tile takes full screen. Every tile, every app in the Windows Store takes full screen. So you have to uh, just go and uh, close these apps. There are a few ways. If you are on the latest, latest version, you have that little red X that appeared. That wasn't there before, but if you don't see it, there are a few ways. You can actually take the tile uh, on older versions and say, well, I want to, you know, just shove it, shove it down. And so um, get them out of your touch operating system by just dragging them down from the top and sending them out. So that's a, a way of closing the tiles. And if you have a touch device, you can take the tiles with your finger and push them down to close them. That will be something to check for. Go slowly, check the differences between the tile system and your desktop. Uh, remember, you alternate from desktop to tiles with your little start button at the bottom left. And uh, remember one great, great feature of your keyboard. Now the Windows key on the bottom left of your keyboard, that little white flag, is used more than ever in Windows 8. So if you click that Windows key, it will alternate between either the start screen or the desktop or the start screen and the latest app that you were using. So if I open the store, for example, and I press the Windows key, it brings me back to that start screen with the tiles. But if I press it again, it brings me back to the Windows Store. So it brings you back to the last spot you were before. So that's pretty much what I'll show you in this video. Go through it several times if you're not sure of what you, um, you know, what I was saying. And uh, that's the cool thing about these videos is that you can watch them over and over get the feel and the hang of your Windows 8 machine. If you're a new user to Windows 8, I think going back to these basic functions of Windows 8 is a great thing to do. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature, maybe you have a problem, maybe you have an app, something you'd like us to make a video to help you with. Let us know and we'll try to put that video online. And hopefully, you'll come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.